what's up, y'all? It's your boy Jeremy from Randolph Running Club. I'm here today to talk to you guys about a brand that I've been running in since about August of last year. And that brand is none other than Ultra. Right after this. Blazing on the track, boy. Thank you so much for making it through that intro there. That was just a, a compilation of different runs that I've done in these Ultra Duo 1.5s. Um, you know, various lengths. I've got about 125 miles into these shoes right now. And I can say, you know, um, they've been great so far. But this video right here is not really a video about these shoes. Um, I'll link right up here up here <laughs> uh, a link to my initial impressions which really still hold up even at this point at 125 miles i think these shoes have uh, everything that they showed me in the beginning when i first really stepped into them and put them on for that first run um has held up and it still rings true to this day the durability has been great um, i don't feel like they've lost their performance after 125 miles and i'm really enjoying them i just <laughs> I keep lacing up in them you know every week so, um, yeah, be sure to check that out if you have any questions about that. Um, but what I will say, just to kind of dive into the shoes just briefly, uh, the shoes that I'm running in here, these Ultra Duo 1.5s, they're kind of shown as a, uh, a race day shoe, according to Ultra. I ended up getting them because I remember running Warehouse had this exact colorway that I have here in the video um, for less than 60 bucks. And you know we love a deal here on this channel, so I couldn't resist. I had always heard things about Ultra, um, and that's A-L-T-R-A. -A. And um, I just kind of said, you know, let me see what the hype is about. Let me see what this, this zero drop uh, situation is about. So I gave the Duo 1.5s a try. They're super light. Um, they're coming in under nine ounces, 32 millimeters of stack height all the way across. So they max protection and the foam is just very soft, but also still has a nice energy return and rebound. So nothing but praise for the shoes. Be sure to check out that video if you have any questions about those shoes in particular. Um, <clears throat> so what is Ultra about, right? Let's let's kind of start this video off with, with that portion of it. What is the portion or what is the, the idea behind um, Ultra? So they're really famous for making shoes that are more ergonomic for your foot or so they claim, right? So the way that they do that is they have a zero drop architecture. And I'll pick up this shoe here so I can show you on these Duo 1.5s. It doesn't really look like it because of the way they have this kind of like gradient color going down the side, but there is the exact same amount of cushion in the forefoot as there is in the heel. So what you're getting there is on these shoes, you have 32 millimeters of stack height in the heel and that, that goes the entire length of the shoe to the forefoot. So, you know, in a traditional shoe from like, let's say Nike uh, typically has like eight or 10 millimeter drops. What you have is a really thick heel and a really thin forefoot in relation to the heel. And that kind of promotes you to heel strike. So as you're coming down, you know, in a typical shoe that has that, that exaggerated drop, um, you're going to be probably overextending, hitting your heel first. Uh, and, you know, according to Ultra and, and a lot of people, I mean, if you go on Reddit or you, you know, watch enough YouTube videos, people will say that. The ideal foot strike is your forefoot or your midfoot. And, you know, Ultra is really encouraging that type of running style with this, this type of shoe. And, you know, you could say that that is a very natural way to run. Because if you look at your feet, your feet don't have a whole bunch of cushion on the back and then the front is flat. You know, I mean, we obviously have arches in our feet as human beings, but for the most part, your feet are relatively flat, all things considered. So, uh, you know, this is supposed to help you have a 
maximize your mid or your forefoot striking technique. Uh, you're supposed to be a little bit less overextended as you're running. Um, so, you know, the, the center of your foot and your, your forefoot are landing like under right underneath your hips, right underneath your, your knees. You know, you're not really um, kind of taking those exaggerated like lunge steps, if you will. And in general, it's supposed to help with your posture and your overall usage of your muscles and your feet, your uh, legs, etc. So all of that is fine and good. I think, you know, when I first tried them on, I was thinking, OK, what's this all about? You know, is this just the hype train? What's really going on here? But I think now that I've got about 125 miles in these shoes, I think I can speak a little bit more to what my experience was and how I came out from it, right, from wearing these shoes. So I'm going to break this video down into two different things now. We're going to talk about the pros that I found from this. That'll be part one. And in part two, we'll talk about the cons that I've come across wearing these shoes. So jumping into the pros, I found that these shoes compared to my normal, like uh, my Hoka Rincons, for instance, which don't have a crazy drop. I think it's only like five millimeters or my Nikes that have like 10. I find that these shoes, every time I go out in them for the same amount of effort, the same paces, my cadence naturally increases. And when I talk about my cadence, what I mean is the number of times that my feet strike the ground as I'm running. So, you know, I'm, I'm about 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and I have pretty long legs, so I'm just kind of always, and I, and I came from a track and field background, right? Before I ever got into any kind of distance running, my first foray into running was doing things like 400 meter dash, 800 meters, you know, field events, like triple jump and stuff like that. So I was coming from almost like a sprinting type of background. And when you're sprinting, you're not taking little tiny fast steps necessarily. Like you're really, you know, trying to get your full range of motion, that power. And I think I really carried that in with me. So I typically will run anywhere from like 100 55 ish steps per minute to like 165 maybe um and i find that you know if you if like i said before if you searching on youtube you know you're going on reddit you're reading all these running books and things like that the magic number a lot of people have decided is 180 steps per minute is like the best um cadence for you to have to just minimize injuries and, you know, basically minimize the amount of t force that your feet are generating every time they touch the ground. So by that rule, I'm, I'm doing terrible, <laughs> right? Like I'm way off of that number. I'm, you know, on average, like 30 steps per minute below that. But what I will say is when I wear these shoes, it seems like it encourages me to have a quicker turnover. It, it's encouraging me to be a little bit more on my toes naturally, right? Because there's not that big slope, that incline. So what's happening when I wear these is, you know, my steps per minute, instead of it being around 155 for like a really slow, easy run, it's tr it's trending more into like the 160 range for my easier runs and then going closer to one, the 170s when I'm picking it up. So it's I feel like these shoes have kind of encouraged me to improve my um, running technique in the way that my feet actually interact with the ground. Now, whether that's a pro or a con, I guess you could say it's really up to your interpretation. But if you're holding to that 180 steps per minute rule, I think these shoes might help encourage you to run in a way that is more beneficial if you're trying to get to that number. Um, <clears throat> another thing that I found with these shoes, and maybe it is partially because they're higher stack height, but I find that these shoes seem to make me run in a more natural, upright position. So when I say that, I guess what I'm really trying to angle at here is when you uh, think of somebody like a Elliot Kipchoge, right? Like everybody would say, you know, he's pretty much the GOAT, right? I mean, he, of long distance running, you know, sub two hour full marathon is crazy. Still can't wrap my mind around that. But when you look at him run, you see that he really has that like exaggerated running form. It's just so, so fluid, so beautiful. You know, he's taking those strides and, you know, he's he's upright, but not completely he's slightly leaning forward. Um, you know, he's getting that like heel kick really high. And I feel like when I run in these shoes, it makes me feel like I'm Kipchoge, if that makes sense. Like, obviously, I'm not running those paces, not even close. But it feels like my back is just a little bit more straight and it feels like it's easier for me, like my feet are landing perfectly under me to provide that quick turnover. And I think that goes, you know, back with the steps per minute thing that I just mentioned. But I, I truly find that when I wear these shoes, it's promoting a really good posture and it's just helping me to run in a way that's 
kind of taking the pressure off of like my knees um, and kind of redistributing them evenly throughout my body and just allowing for me to really have that 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 form that you see when you're looking at, you know, like an Olympic marathon or somebody of that nature. So I think that's a big pro for me, at least from my perspective. Um, another pro I like with these shoes is just when I'm feeling beat up, right? So like on a really high mileage week for me. So like I've, I've topped out around 50 miles a week um, doing marathon training and things like that. And I find that when I wear these shoes and my legs are feeling a little sore, a little worse for wear, because these shoes are making me have like that different type of posture, that different type of stance as I'm running, it kind of takes the pressure off of the places that my other shoes tend to have the pressure. So I think just a general good rule of thumb, I think it's always a good idea to have, you know, multiple shoes. You want to have a shoe rotation and you don't, you want to have different shoes that, um, you know, they, they encourage different types of movement in your feet. So you're strengthening different muscles in your feet, different muscles in your calves, your thighs, you know, um, your hamstrings, everything. And I just feel like when I wear these, it's like, encouraging different muscles that I don't always use when I'm wearing Nikes or Asics or whatever other brand that has a higher drop. And what I'm getting at there is I think, you know, when my legs are beat up in those ways, it's it's good to kind of throw these into rotation because I find that they take the pressure off of like my knees or they take the pressure off of my back, for instance, and kind of redistribute it in different places, which makes me an overall stronger runner, but also helps me to kind of keep my injuries in check because it's like, you know, I'm I'm not always running in the same way, um, you know, kind of overtraining the same muscles all the time. When we talk about the cons, uh, I think there's really only one downside. And I think anybody who who sees these shoes and, you know, you read the box, you see other reviews, you kind of know what you're getting into. But Ultra even gives you a... Uh, a card in these shoe with these shoes that says you know basically how to break them in how to get used to running in zero drop shoes because a lot of people that's just not what they've been doing you know they've been running in 10 millimeter drop 12 millimeter drop shoes you know i think like the brooks ghost right is one of the most popular shoes and that's 12 millimeters so when you go from a shoe like that to this um you're not used to having that kind of pressure on your achilles tendon on your calves so if you just jump in and completely switch and just pick up the same mileage that you already had, you're going to be in for a bad time. Like you're going to have injuries and you're going to have these little niggling pains and things that kind of, um, you know, are going to be with you and, and cause you some downtime more than likely. So I think a really big key with these shoes is just you, you kind of have to ease into them. Um, the first time I ran in them, I only took them on one run that week. Then the next week, I, you know, I, I added in another easy run. Um, and it, it, I would say it took me probably three weeks to the point where I could run in them. And it was like, all right, it's like a normal shoe for me now. Like I can just put it on and not have to think about it and everything is all good. Whereas, you know, when you're running in, I don't know, pretty much any shoe that's ever existed. Otherwise, you could just take hop it in, hop in the shoe and go on, you know, a, a long run if that's really what you desire. So I think that's one big thing with these that's kind of a drawback. Now, I will say I, I jump rope probably like three, four times a week. So I think my calves were in a pretty good place to handle this. And I still kind of felt that extra um, strain on my calves, on my Achilles tendon and everything. But uh, with that being said, it's never been an issue. It hasn't sidelined me or anything like that. And these shoes, uh, as I've continued to run in them, I feel like those parts of my legs have gotten even stronger. Um, like before I started running in these shoes, my Achilles heel, if you will, of running would be, I knew um, if I was going to go run like a really fast half marathon or I was going to try for that marathon, like my calves were always like the weak point for me, right? Where it's like, I'm probably going to cramp in my calves. And since wearing these shoes, I feel like I haven't had those kind of issues anymore. Um, my calves just, I, I feel like they've gotten a lot stronger because I'm training them in ways that I normally would not train them. So those are my thoughts there on Ultra. If you guys like Ultra, you've been running in these types of shoes, feel free to, you know, drop a comment down below and just let me know how that's been going for you. And as always, you know, please just, uh, if you really like this video and you like what you see, feel free to hit that like button, that subscribe button, drop a comment. I always am active in the comments and love to chat with you guys. And uh, yeah. You know, just stay blessed, inspire others, stay safe out there, y'all. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.